For most comic book fans, owning a Batmobile is just a pipe dream. But here in Australia, one Batman fanatic has made the dream a reality by hand-building his own version of the iconic vehicle. What makes this Batmobile different is it's street legal. Like, I can take it down and get groceries if I wanted to. The reaction of the car has just been insane. Wow. It looks it's awesome. Like it's like Zach Mihailovic started building the replica four years ago with the help of his very own Lucius Fox, grandfather John Green, a retired engineer. During the two-year build, the 29-year-old was even able to get some of the parts from the car used in the original film. The Batmobile behind me is the, uh, the 1989 Batmobile, and this was the Michael Keaton Jack Nicholson film. It's got adjustable suspension, it's got a working afterburner, which is from the film, no machine gun, sadly, uh, no grappling hooks, no bombs that come out of the wheel, but uh, pretty much beyond that, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty close. There are thought to be 10 of the replica cars of the 1989 Batmobile, but Zach believes he's the only one that can legally drive on public roads. The first time I took it out was, was definitely an experience. I was on the freeway on the way to Gold Coast and there was this noise and I thought there was something wrong with the car. It's actually the news helicopter from Channel 9 that had chased me down the freeway. That was pretty memorable. And not surprisingly, the replica is running plenty of admirers, including the ladies. My name's Annabella Leone and I am dating Batman. I've been dating for about four years and can I just say, I was with him two years prior to the Batmobile. And that's my seat, the passenger seat. And if any girl out there wants it, I swear to God, dead. And Zach has also had his fair share of bizarre requests. I've had a couple ring me up and say, I know this is gonna sound weird, but we want to christen the car, so to speak. And I sort of said, you know, I'm not really interested. And, and they said, we'll pay you what you want and we'll bring plastic sheets. And I'm like, you've just made that worse, you know, so, so no thanks. Businessmen from across the world have offered Zach big bucks for the Batmobile, but he's decided to use his powers for good by teaming up with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, who make dreams come true for terminally ill children. Today he's using his comic book car to impress families at the local shops. It's a brilliant, a brilliant charity because it gives kids, sadly, their dying wish. I dress up as Batman and uh, I surprise the kids. Sometimes it's knocking on someone's door and obviously organised. Some of them run for their lives and it takes a bit of warming up to get them back into, uh, into the Batmobile, but some are just super pumped. Over the last three years, Zach has helped more than 40 children and has no plans to stop. And while he may not be using the Batmobile to fight off the Joker or the Penguin, in the eyes of many, he's very much a hero.